Hi there, in this video I'm going to show you um, how to get the identities for hyperbolic functions using trigonometric identities, so from trigonometric identities um, with the help of Osborne's rule. Okay, so here goes. So hyperbolic identities let's underline that and subtitle so Osborne's rule let's underline that also now what is Osborne's rule? Osborne's rule states that whenever you have a product of two sines okay or a sine squared so product of two sines means a sine squared anyway so if you have a product of two sines all you do is reverse the sign in front of that product in order to get the corresponding hyperbolic identity so let me just repeat whenever you have a product of two sines in a trigonometric identity change or reverse the sign in front of that product in order to get the corresponding hyperbolic identity okay so let me write that down so I'll write it out in a shortened form so whenever we have a product of two signs okay so the idea is change the sign so change means you change as in reverse the sign so change the sign in front of the product to get the corresponding hyperbolic identity so just change the sign in front of the product of your two signs to get the corresponding hyperbolic identity okay so let me underline maybe the um, important part so whenever you have a product of two signs okay so product of two signs all you do is change the sign okay in front of the product to get the corresponding hyperbolic identity okay so change the sign in front of the product okay so let me show you how this works so what what I like to do is I'll go through some examples with you so let me just create a, um, a table maybe okay so uh, a table with two columns so first column tree trigonometric identities and on the right hand side let's say uh, hyperbolic so hyperbolic identities okay so my rule is not long enough however we'll We'll do the best that we can do. So, so let me take some examples of what we mean by by this Osborne's rule. So, on the left hand side, we know we know that cos squared a plus sine squared a is equal to one. Okay. Now let me show you how Osborne's rule works. So you only change the sign in front of the product, so the product of two signs, to get the corresponding hyperbolic identity. So I have a sign squared, that is a product of two signs, okay? So let me take a red pen. So I need to change this plus to a minus to get the corresponding hyperbolic identity. So in this case, our hyperbolic version is hyperbolic cos squared a minus hyperbolic sine squared a is equal to 1 okay so it's plus 
um, whenever you uh, in the trigonometric identity yeah so remember only reverse the sign in front of the product to get the corresponding hyperbolic identity so this plus changes to minus okay so let's try another example now also remember okay um, tan so tan squared uh, means so tan squared is comprised of a sine squared over a cos squared so even when it comes to tan squared you need to change the sign in front of that product okay not only that remember cot squared is cos squared over sine squared so again you've got sine squared okay involved with cot squared you need to change the sign in front of the cot squared also cosec squared remember the reciprocal of sine is cosec so cosec squared is 1 over sine squared so the fact that you have a sine squared means you need to change the sign in front so in front of the cosec squared as well yeah so let me just go through some examples so just to remind ourselves so 1 plus tan squared a equals sec squared a okay so that is one of our Pythagorean identities but remember tan squared is sine squared over cos squared so on that note we need to reverse the sign in front which is plus okay and we change that plus to a minus so the corresponding hyperbolic identity is 1 minus hyperbolic tan squared a equals hyperbolic sec squared a okay also another hyper, uh, Pythagorean identity 1 plus cot squared a equals cosec squared a so remember cot is the same as cos over sine so cot squared is cos squared over sine squared so again sine squared being involved so we need to change the sign in front which is plus to a minus but also cosec squared is 1 over sine squared so the fact that this involves a sine squared means we need to change this sign in front from plus to a minus as well yeah so by doing that we'll have 1 minus cot squared a or hyperbolic cot squared so um, let me delete that so 1 minus hyperbolic cot squared a equals minus hyperbolic cosec squared a and if you multiply this equation with the minus okay you can write it in the form uh, hyperbolic cot squared a minus 1 equals hyperbolic cosec squared a okay so remember you only do this when you have a product of two signs um, and also don't forget you also do this with tan squared cot squared and cosec squared because they involve um, sine squared as well okay so that completes this video um, I hope you found this video helpful okay and um, I hope to see you in the next video thank you